welcome to the 199 video. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Volume 5, 6, and 7. So the reason I said 199 is because it's, it's video 199. And tomorrow I will be uploading the 200th video. Yes, viewers, I am done editing the video and, um, and whatnot. It's not going to be a blog, it's a 201 video. So... Yeah, if you're disappointed, don't be don't be disappointed. I'm real sorry I hurt your feelings and whatnot. But yeah, Bloggity's gonna be in 201, so expl explaining whatnot, what happened before and whatnot. It doesn't matter, but anyway, who? So yeah, 200 videos ready to and I'm ready to over. I'm ready to blast it off to the internet. I think it shall be up by I don't know Jueves. What is that called? Uh, Tuesday? I don't know. Thursday. Thursday. That's the one. So yeah. Let's get started, shall we? In the front, the cover, uh, we see Goku in the little motorcycle from Capsule Corp. So that's kind of cool, and he still has his tail. So that's kind of cool. I don't know why it has a green outfit. I don't know. It's just, I don't know, this is just fan art. No, it's not fan art. It's just, you know, like color. Uh, what should I call it? Um, just, a, just an art. Just an art form, okay? Here we got story and art by Akira Toyama, which means that's where it comes from. And viewers, I'm a little sick, so you may hear like like what I may, may have mentioned in the previous episode of, uh, what should I call it? In the previous video, I said that I was sick, and one night I'm still sick. And well, you know, uh, that's why my nose is like swollen or something. I don't know, but I don't know. I'm sick, so that's all there is to it. So Dragon Ball, so that's kind of cool in the back or in the yeah the back yeah. We have Goku versus what you might call this guy, Geki Chan or Geki Shun or or Chuki Chun or something. I don't know. Volume five, Dragon Ball, the world's most popular manga. It's true, it is. You just read it from left to right. Okay. So here we have a photo of what's going to be happening in this book. Here we got Goku in the sand tail and Krillin bald, and we have Master Roshi, which is Geki Chan or something. So yeah, and here we got all the characters and whatnot. Here in Master Roshi and Jackie Chan. He has descriptions and whatnot. Here you got the content, what's gonna be happening in this couple mangas and whatnot. So, uh, pardon you. Okay. So the fight between Master Roshi, aka Jackie Chan, versus Goku gets on and starts fighting, and Master Roshi really underestimates the power of Goku. He thinks, oh yeah, he's not strong enough. He didn't train him enough. But he thinks his little mystical hypnosis or whatnot is going to make him put asleep. And Bulma's in her nerdiness get to know that that Goku's stomach is stronger than his mind. So so Bulma decides to scream out, DINNER! Well, not, that, not, not like that, but you know. She screams out, DINNER, and Goku miraculously wakes up, surprising Master Roshi that Goku's stomach is bigger than his brain. So, yes. And the fight continues while well, the trainer guy or the referee referee says you get dinner after you finish the battle, dang it. So yeah. So then he does his rock, paper, scissors move and he said Master Roshi says, Oh yeah, yeah, I seen so many people do that and then so then Goku decides to have a genius idea like he always does sometimes. And uh he just obliterates uh, Master Roshi's nose, so he confused them by that and as the day go on, it starts to get late, and what some call it, Yaki Chan or Master Roshi, if you will, starts using his sort of electricity power since he knows that Goku is way too powerful, and he decides to use his only move to stop Goku. So he uses electricity, not knowing about his sand tail, and it well, as the night goes on, the night keeps on getting fight, and he's Master Roshi wants Goku to say mercy and, and Goku will being the human or sand he is he says no screw that idea I'd rather die than to say that and as the night go on the full moon eventually gets out there and starts like you know messing with Goku's brain and he turns into a fully sand which he was originally meant and Yamcha's all freaked out and Krillin is like what the hell is going on I don't know I don't remember this I've never seen this before and Master Roshi never seen this before either. So yeah, and the referee doesn't know what type of move that is. And people tell him, that's not a move. That's a transformation, damn it. So yeah, they all get scared. And Master Roshi, with his only... He thinks there's no other idea of how to take uh, Goku out. 
He says, you know what, I'm going to come and have my blast. And Bet Jamsha says, no, that's a bad idea. And, well, Master Roshi just decides to come and have ha. Oh, my God, I've been in five minutes with this. Holy crap. So, yeah. And, well, he, Krillin thinks, oh, no. I got rid of our Goku. Oh, no. But Master Roshi says, he's over there, damn it. What don't you see? And then Krillin is like, oh, look, there's Goku's butt, and there's Goku's body, and whatnot. And then Goku decides to fight naked until the referee says that's a horrible idea. And then Master Roshi tries to blow up another Kamehameha. And then it was miraculous because he wasted all his Kamehameha on the Great Ape, as you may know as Goku. And then Goku lost a lot of energy, transformed into a Great Ape. And that's why he cannot tra transform a Kamehameha and whatnot. And then he almost, Goku almost threw Master Roshi off the ring, and... Whatchamacallit, uh, caramba. and he sticks his finger and his foot on the ring, allowing him not to get eliminated from the ring. So he throws out a big kick at his face, and then they get paralyzed for a couple minutes, and then he had to stand up, and then Master Roshi Miraki stands up, and then yeah, Master Roshi comes back, and, and then Goku goes to the Red Ribbon Army, and then he starts doing all what snap. Okay, that's volume 5, okay, we got it. God damn it, okay. On to volume 6. We're already at 6 minutes. Oh, God. I didn't think I was so much explaining. So, hopefully you guys aren't mad that I just ended the volume 5 short since I didn't want to explain something. I explained a lot, actually. I was surprised at what I did right there. So, in the cover, we see Goku. We have Akira Toriyama art. So, this is kind of cool. I like this one. Dragon Ball, volume 6. Here we got some other texture ones. And in the back, we got volume 6 again with Goku in a little... Capsule Corp. I don't, I don't see the logo of Capsule Corp anywhere, but it's got to be. I mean, the only trucks he is is in Capsule Corp and whatnot. The world's most popular manga, and it's true. So, uh, yeah. After in volume 5 at the end, where he starts with his journey to find the Dragon Balls, he goes and finds himself a, an army called the Red Ribbon Army. And he has to find them just to get to the Dragon Balls, which... In the end, he turns out to fight them, and he says, and then they really underestimate the power of Goku, which they think, oh, that's just an ordinary little kid. He's no powerful to us. And then they get surprised of how powerful he is. And they well, we just, they underestimated him. What do you think? And then Goku, being the child or person who he is, really takes out his move, and then he finds a new friend known as Android 8. You would think that he is evil, but I have not read this far, so, you know. Ah, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, he becomes his friends and then they start fighting. Goku saves Android 8 and then they become friends. And, you know, stuff happens. And then they fall and then this thing happens. Whatchamacallit, a beluga. Yeah, that thing. That purplish, whitish, blobby Patrick thing. You know. And then he starts with this giant tongue. He eats Goku. Because he's a fat person, obviously, he needs to eat. And then, and then Goku sends out a Kamehameha to the Beluga. And then the Beluga reflects it. This sounds like a Pokemon battle. Holy crap. But no, it's not a Pokemon battle. And, uh, well, uh, what should I call it? Uh, I think, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he was. The Beluga tried to eat Android A, and that's when Goku really started to get serious. And then he really punched the hole through the Beluga, allowing him to get Android 8 out of there, and then... Android 8 and Goku are safe, and then, uh, wait a minute, I, for, I think I passed the part, did I? Yes, I did, I forgot the part where they freeze them. Well, you know, they freeze them, and you probably already know that. So then they start traveling through the Dragon Balls, and then Goku starts looking for, uh, Bulma, and a policeman tells him that Bulma lives here. And, well, he, the policeman said, oh, you must not know him, she's too rich and powerful to know you. And, well, at the end, he does know him. And then there's more Riven Army to go. And, you know, stuff happens. And then they find General Blue. I think that's his name. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. And then they go back to Master Roshi's house where he where he uses that thing that Bulma had to turn himself into a little shrimp so he can find some sort of perverted stuff. So he does see some perverted stuff there and whatnot. So, cool. And so Goku decides to travel under the water just to find the other Dragon Ball, which is not the four-star Dragon Ball which he was looking for originally. So yeah, and here we got some other stuff. Oh, I can't believe I finished the whole thing. Okay, cool. On to volume seven. My 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 throat hurts. 
Very bad. <coughs> I can't believe I just said all this commentary. But a uh, story in art by Akira Toyama, volume seven. And actually, I like this one. It's like favorite, not perverted or anything, but you know. So on the back, we got the pirates, which is Goku, Krillin, and Bulma, volume seven, the world's most popular manga. Ah, my throat is really hurting. So here we got the same picture that we had in the back, or in the this part, as you might. I don't know. So I have not read this far, so I hope I'll get to read it. It's due the 5th of May. So that's kind of cool. Not really, but you know. Here's kind of here's some of the cast members and whatnot. So here's Master Roshi inflicting a giant punch at the Riven, Riven Army guy. So And then here comes General Blue with his army. And then they try to obliterate Goku and Bulma and Krillin. Uh, and then they send this... Uh, predator thing alien from i don't know from what movie it's called i don't know it looks like him it's not that one but you know and then they start swimming they try to get out and then they send out uh followers just to get goku and then boma what you call it uses her female powers to get over general blue but boma finds out that uh general blue isn't into that type of stuff and then well boma says holy crap i can't believe my powers are failing and so days go on well not days just moments go on and then krillin starts to fight and general blue just obliterates krillin and you know boma decides to take another shot and says i'm gonna use my female powers again and then she shakes her booty but then, General Blue decides to take Giant Rock and about to smash Krillin. But Goku, as a heroic hero, decides to come into the fight and then knock out uh, General 8. And then, you know, General 8 takes out a shotgun and then decides to kill them all. But, I don't know, I think a rock hit his head and then... Uh, no, 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 wait, no, a, a rock did not hit his head. Uh, a mouse scared the hell out of him. And then... Uh, Goku, since he was really grateful for that mouse to help him, he decides to help out the mouse. So he puts the mouse in his he puts the mouse in his mouth, and then he takes it out to freedom. And then what you call it? He saves the mouse, but General Blue miraculously got saved from there. Well, he rescued himself and whatnot. And well, they just go all the way up to Penguin Village, and then they crash there for a little while, and. Weird stuff happens that I have not read yet, so yeah, hopefully this concludes uh, Volume 7. I still haven't read through this whole part yet, so I don't have much commentary for this. I did see the VHS on this, so that's kind of cool. And Not really, but hey. So here you got these. Volume 6, 5, and 7. You can't really see because of all this stuff right there, but you know, cool. So... This concludes Dragon Ball's Dragon Ball, just Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball 5, 6, and 7 review. So I hope you guys like and favor you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe. And well, as always, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in whatever I make next, which is the mon Ma mouse. The mouse. It's the mouse. I didn't say nothing. You know, I didn't say nothing. I almost gave away the 200 video.